speak about victory over the power of darkness. Spend an extra mile. Hallelujah. To the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. Can you open to that place? 1 Corinthians 14, verse 2. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 2. Let's read it. Okay, it's here. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Can we read it together? For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh. He speaketh what? He speaketh what? He speaketh what? Hear me. When that situation is tough, switch to the language of the supernatural. Switch to the mysterious language. Hey! Man of God, sir. I was preaching in Nigeria for a particular man of God. You know him very well. I won't mention him here. Very nice. Okay, you know, my good friend. I was preaching in the night. Nine days I was on his pulpit. Preaching on the supernatural. Around 9 p.m. In the night. Before I go to bed. I called my wife. And I told her. I am returning back to Abuja tomorrow. We told ourselves bye. Good night. I love you. All those things. Okay. Now. 1.30 in the night my phone rang I looked at it, it was my wife I knew something has gone wrong 1.30 in the night what for? when I picked the call he said, pastor begin to pray our son is no longer breathing I said, eh? where are you? she said, we are in the hospital and the doctor says we should take him to another hospital where there is oxygen because he can't breathe on his own again. Hey, what did I do? That is a mysterious situation. You expect me to be laughing? You expect me to be taking shy and shapati? No, Rako, Bosaka, Zaka, 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 Reka. Receive life in the name of Jesus. Roka Posakata. Rebo Zaga 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 Zaga. I call her how far. He said, eh, he's breathing small, small. I said, keep on moving. Reko Zaga Bagada Bashakara. Rabba Baba. Zaga Zaga Zaga. Zaga 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 Zaga. Now do you know what? They were driving at top speed. 120 kilometers per hour looking for a hospital in Abuja that has oxygen. Let them fix the boy. As I was Rekosa, Zoka, Zoka, Mazeka, Zaka, Rakaka, Do you know what my wife do was Rika, Posuto, Mozeka, Zoka, Zaka, Raka, Zaka, that's the Boshaka, Rababa, Zoka. In less than one hour, the boy started crying. Amen. Where is my mommy? Where is my mommy? In fact, when I returned to Abuja the next day, he saw me and jumped up. The person that was not breathing yesterday. Mystery answered to mysteries. Mystery answered to mystery. Mystery answered to mystery. Hear me. When the situation looks mysterious, sit down. Give yourself one hour. Forget about Swahili. Forget about Kehansha. Um, what is the name? Korea. Forget about English. Oh my God. 
Go to the language of signs and wonders. Maseka ya zuka. Busa kata zeka pagada bashagada. Raka kaka zeka pagada bashagada. Rei poso to bashagada. Masa to bashagada. In the next one, I will come up and see what will happen. He said, For he speaketh, he that speaketh in a non tongue language speak not unto men. Are you getting me? Tongues is a sacred code, a sacred language between man and the realm of the spirit, between humanity and divinity, between human being and God. Hey, man of God, how will you feel when you are somewhere in America? And you hear somebody speaking your mother's language. And nobody understands the language except you and that person. That is how it is uh, when we are speaking in tongues. Uh, when we are speaking in tongues, uh, we are not speaking unto men. We are speaking unto God. We are speaking the language of God. We are communicating with God. One in his own language. One on one. One on one interaction with Jehovah God. Uh, I declare as from today... Tongues will speak favor for you. Tongues will answer good things for you. In your days of needs, uh, you will speak the right tongues uh, and it will dissolve mysteries. Uh, it will resolve mysteries uh, in the name of Jesus. The language of signs and wonders. Come. Do you think God gave us that language? So that we'll be doing guy with it. Or so that we'll just be playing with it. It is a language of power. It is a language of the supernatural. It is a language of dominion. It is a language of authority. Hear me. You can take over. You can take authority over that town. You can take authority over that home. You can take authority over that business place by speaking mysteries. I was telling you that my father came down with stroke and he died. Do you still remember? When I started preaching, I said that. When the man told me, Sunday, if your father dies, forget about education. I knew I had battle before me. About three days later, I was with my father in the hospital. Some people came to visit us. I escorted them from the hospital. When I came back, I saw my mother crying at the reception of the hospital. People who held her. I just left here not up to 10 minutes. They were calling me, Sunday, come back, come back, come back. I came back, my mother was crying. People were holding her. The door to the, I rushed to my father's ward. The door has been locked. The man is gone. What do you want me to do? Cry? What do you want me to do? Faint? <laughs> my brother, if the battle gets to the gate, the only, way, the only solution is to fight. I went to a corner in the hospital. I knelt down. I said, God, I guess you have ears. And you heard what that man said. He's the one to train me and he has refused. So do something now. God, if you don't do something, person go delete. Oh. That is Nigerian language. So I started. Recall. Zaka, 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 zaka. Mr. Ame, anywhere you are, come back to life now. I call your spirit into your body. Rebo Zika. Zoka Bagada Bashagada. Raka Basakada. Raka Zebo Soda Bashagada. The Holy Spirit told me, get up. I got up. I started coming. They have opened the door of the world. I entered. He turned to my mom. Why are you crying? Oh, you thought I died? I didn't die. Here am I. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I didn't die. I'm alive. <laughs> Mistress. Then three years later, after I finished my final examination, I went on my knees. I said, Father, I thank you for the exam. 
thank you, I have graduated. Then the Lord reminded me, I kept that man so that you could finish. Now that you have finished, it is time. I said, God, no. I wanted to pray against that. I slept off immediately. You can't try God, though. <laughs> Sir, it was in the afternoon. I just came from class, writing an exam. Around 4 p.m., I slept off. When I woke up, I forgot. Two days later, I traveled to the house. I met the man. We were talking. And he lost his voice. I rushed him to the hospital. My younger brother was driving. And I was by his side. We got to the hospital. They referred him to another hospital. One week later, he has gone. God had me three years ago in a hospital. The God that listened to a teenager who called upon him in a Nigerian hospital and gave his father three more years. And tell me, what can he not do for you? What can he not do for you? I declare that mystery is resolved. Is resolved. Is resolved in the name of Jesus. When, when, when I was praying this morning, Around 4 30 a.m., I woke up and I was praying for the service. And the Holy Spirit told me something that there's going to be somebody in this service. What I don't know is either his first service or his second service. I don't know, but there's going to be somebody who, in his place of work, he has been due for promotion. But when it is his time, they will pass over him. When it is his time, they will pass over him and promote somebody else. I don't know the person, but I declare now. In the name of Jesus, that situation is resolved. Is resolved. Is resolved. Is resolved. In the name of Jesus. Finally. about victory over the power of darkness when the extra mile hallelujah